Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here today. My research is investigating the regional dynamics of the conflict in Afghanistan. As you know, the war in Afghanistan is currently in its 13th year, and by the end of 2014, all international military forces from Afghanistan will have withdrawn. It is difficult to comprehend that after more than a decade of fighting, that the, which has imposed a massive cost in terms of both blood and treasure, that the US-led international coalition, together with the Afghan National Security Forces, have not been able to rout the Taliban insurgency, and neither have they been able to prevent Afghanistan's neighbors from meddling in its internal affairs. In order to understand these regional interactions, at what impact they're having on the conflict, but in particular, what impact they're having on the ongoing efforts to engineer a regional framework that targets Afghanistan's problems, the question that I'm asking in my thesis is, why is it that after so many attempts have been made to try and give momentum to a regional framework that all such efforts have failed? In other words, what are these impediments? Who is responsible for them? How are they interacting with one another? Uh, with one another and to what effect? Understanding the regional dynamics of the conflict has meant that one needs to understand the structural, cognitive, and contextual factors of the, uh, of the phenomena. So for instance, the long-standing rivalry between India and Pakistan has forcefully played out in Afghanistan. This is similarly the case between Iran and Pakistan, and in particular between Saudi Arabia and Iran, who view each other as strategic challenges. There are, they are ideological rivals and are competing for influence in the Middle East and beyond. Meanwhile, Russia, China, and the Central Asian republics are watching the situation very closely as these insecurities sharpen, particularly as the international military footprint from Afghanistan comes down to a zero. In order to understand these perceptions, in the last six months, I've had the opportunity to travel to a number of these countries to interview diplomats, senior military officers, government officials, and academics in order to understand their perceptions, what they think of their counterparts' strategic interests, security concerns, their fears. And so, one of the lessons I learned from my fieldwork was that while most of these countries want stability in Afghanistan, the problem is that each one of them defined it in a very different manner, which militates against what a regional solution is trying to achieve. So the alternative solution that I propose in my thesis consists of three parts. One is for diplomatic energies to be focused on resolving long-standing uh, tensions bilaterally. Secondly, to continue the investment in Afghanistan state building mechanism so that it can so that it may be able to extend its control over its territory. And thirdly, to ensure that a residual force of international military forces in Afghanistan stays well beyond 2014 as a way to prevent a Taliban comeback. Thank you.